Welcome to special program in Sports 7. We are now in Quarter 1, Lesson 1. Our topic for today is about Introduction to Human Anatomy. Is it interesting to learn human anatomy? Let's find out. Before we start our lesson, let us discover our main goal. Expectations. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to familiarize with the terms used in studying basic anatomy. Understand the terminologies, definitions and concepts emphasizing in studying basic anatomy. Develop critical thinking in the significance of human anatomy in executing a movement. Now, are you ready to learn human anatomy? Let's have a pretest. Directions Choose the letter of the correct answer. You have 5 seconds to answer each number. Number 1. What term is used in studying scientific body's structure? A. Gross anatomy B. Human anatomy C. Macroscopic anatomy D. Microscopic anatomy If your answer is B, good job! 2. What term is used in studying larger structures of the body, those visible without the aid of magnification? A. Gross anatomy B. Human anatomy C. Macroscopic anatomy D. Microscopic anatomy If your answer is C, you got it right. Okay, number 3. It is a study of structures that can be observed only with the use of a microscope or other magnification devices. What study is this? A. Gross anatomy B. Human anatomy C. Macroscopic anatomy D. Microscopic anatomy If your answer is D, you're correct. Number 4. What is the term used in studying interrelation of all the structures in a specific body region? A. Human anatomy B. Organ systems C. Regional anatomy D. Systemic anatomy If your answer is C, you got it right. Number 5. What do you call with the study of the structures that make up discrete body systems? A. Human anatomy B. Organ systems C. Regional anatomy D. Systemic anatomy If your answer is D, you're correct. For our recap, answer the following directions. Match column A with the correct answer on column B. Write only the letter of answer on the blank provided before the number. Number 1. It is considered as smallest living unit cells. The answer of number 1 is letter A. Number 2. It is a grouping of like cells working together. The answer of number 2 is letter D. Number 3. It is a structure composed of several different tissues performing particular functions. The answer of number 3 is letter B. Number 4. It is a Greek root word of anatomy. The answer of number 4 is letter E. Number 5. It is a group of organs which together performed an overall function. The answer of number 5 is letter C. For today's lesson, let's have the introduction to human anatomy. Okay. Learning anatomy is similar to building a house. If the foundation is strong then it will last for a lifetime. This subject is definitely difficult and filled to the brim with details but the basics keep cropping up time and time again. You will constantly use them as reference when learning new anatomical concepts thus mastering the fundamentals is essential. Okay, so, what are these foundations? In the realm of anatomy, they include terminology, planes, body movements, 
regions of the body, organ systems, regional neurovasculature. In this module, we'll take a brief look at all of them to provide you with the required tools to succeed in this subject and simplify learning as much as possible. The word anatomy comes from a Greek root that means to cut apart. Human anatomy was first studied by observing the exterior of the body and observing the wounds of soldiers and other injuries. Later, physicians were allowed to dissect bodies of the dead to augment their knowledge. Human anatomy is the scientific study of the body's structures. Some of these structures are very small and can only be observed and analyzed with the assistance of a microscope. What did you observe in the two pictures at the left side of the slide? The upper picture illustrate the anatomical plane. We have the sagittal coronal and transverse plane. On the other hand, the picture below illustrate anatomical position. We have superior, inferior, anterior, posterior, distal and medial. This are the other terms and terminologies used in studying anatomy. Anatomical terminology, a list of terms that concern with the anatomy of the human body. It gathers the terms that pertain to the anatomical regants and specific structures, planes, directions, and body movements. Anatomical planes. Imaginary planes that intersect the body, creating slices of inner body structures at different levels. Major planes. Median, mid-sagittal, sagittal, frontal coronal, transverse, axial. Directional terms. Anatomical terms used to describe the position and relation between various structures. Movements. Changing the position of a body part around a certain axis and in one of the anatomical planes. Anatomical regions. Areas of the human body defined by the landmarks provided by evident structures that are easily palpable or visible. Major regions. Head, neck, thorax, abdomen, pelvis, upper extremity, lower extremity. Human body systems. A group of organs that work together to perform one or more functions in the body. Systems. Circulatory, respiratory, digestive, nervous, excretory, endocrine, reproductive, lymphatic, skeletal, and muscular systems. Okay, kinds of anatomical studies. Gross anatomy is the study of the larger structures of the body, those visible without the aid of magnification. Macro means large, thus gross anatomy is also referred to as macroscopic anatomy. In contrast, micro means small, and microscopic anatomy is the study of structures that can be observed only with the use of a microscope or other magnification devices. Anatomists take two general approaches to the study of the body's structures, regional and systemic. These are the images that differentiate the studies between macroscopic and microscopic anatomy. Okay, regional anatomy is the study of the inner relationships of all of the structures in a specific body region, such as the abdomen. Studying regional anatomy helps us appreciate the inner relationships of body structures, such as how muscles, nerves, blood vessels, and other structures work together to serve a particular body region. In contrast, systemic anatomy is the study of the structures that make up a discrete body system. That is, a group of structures that work together to perform a unique body function. For example, a systemic anatomical study of the muscular system would consider all of the skeletal muscles of the body. These are the illustrations of regional anatomy and systemic anatomy. Okay, organization of the human body. The human body is organized into cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and the total organism. Okay, cells are the smallest living unit of body construction. A tissue is a grouping of like cells working together. Examples are muscle tissue and nervous tissue. An organ is a structure composed of several different tissues performing a particular function. Examples include the lungs and the heart. An organ is a structure composed of several different tissues performing a particular function. Examples include the lungs and the heart. The total organism is the individual human being. You are a total organism. 
Did you learn something? Let's test your knowledge and learning with a lesson. Activity number one. Directions. Identify the given picture by guessing the scrambled letter and arrange it to make the word correct. I'll give you five seconds to answer. Number one. The answer is human anatomy. Number two. The answer is microscopic anatomy. Number three. The answer is dissection. Number four. The answer is tissues. Number five. The answer is cells. Activity number two. Directions. Answer the questions with the best of your knowledge and understanding. I'll give you 30 seconds to answer. Number one. State at least three reasons why studying human anatomy is important. Number two. From the situation stated below. In what situation does an appreciation of the structural characteristics of the human heart shows? Why? A. An alien who lands on Earth, abducts a human, and dissects his heart. B. An anatomy and physiology student performing a dissection of the heart on her very first day of class. To wrap up our lesson, complete the statement I enjoyed learning about. For the valuing, give your insights and or opinion in the given quote. Science in itself is nothing, for it exists only in the human beings who are its bearers. By Rudolf Virchow Post-test. Directions. Match column A with the correct answer on column B. Write only the letter of answer on the blank provided before the number. Number 1. The branch of biology concerned with the study of structure and parts of organisms. The answer of number 1 is A. Number 2. The examination of humans' body parts using an aided eyesight. The answer of number two is D. Number three. It involves the use of optical instruments in the study of the tissues of various structures. The answer of number three is E. Number four. Standing position with the body erect facing forward, feet slightly apart, arms hanging and palms facing forward. The answer of number 4 is B. Number 5. A scientific study of the body's structure.
The answer of number 5 is C. References